Not as good as I thought you were. <laughs> uh, last week, Deputy Speaker, I had the opportunity to chat with an inspirational young advocate from the McEwen community, Young Tate, who's one of the 6,000 Australians under the age of 14 living with type 1 diabetes. Tate knows firsthand the benefits of in-depth research in making much needed uh, medical advances. He told me about the difference his new insulin pump has made. This little pump has saved uh, Tate from multiple daily injections. And that's why he and his mum are working hard with the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation to push for better funding for medical breakthroughs. Organisations like the JDRF are critical in connecting people in our local communities in order to boost their fundraising uh, impact and promote the importance of further research in juvenile diabetes. By continuing the hard work, the JDRF can make life-changing breakthroughs in curing and preventing and treating type 1 diabetes. Thanks to their hard work, they've already made groundbreaking discoveries in diabetes research, like being able to identify babies who will develop type 1 diabetes into the future. This kind of early detection means early intervention, which could help thousands of people better cope with the uh, implications of diabetes. This side of the House recognises the importance of properly funding life-saving medical research. We first established the insulin pump program to provide means-tested subsidies for young people throughout Australia to access revolutionary technology. Going into the last election, Labor committed to fully fund a continuous glucose monitoring devices for over 6,000 Australians. We put $80 million in funding uh, so that we could change the lives of the children and young adults with type 1 diabetes. But we didn't stop there. We also put $4 million towards expanding access to programs which provide subsidised access to insulin pumps. These GCM devices literally save lives. Unlike other devices, the CGM technology gives early vinyl, vital early warning signs of low or high insulin levels. And Tate showed me how living with juvenile diabetes forces kids to grow up faster than they should. The kids take on the challenges well beyond their years, and that's why the CGM technology is so important to lessening the anxiety and helping kids better to monitor their conditions. While GCM devices remain unavailable under Medicare, and even through private health insurance, it's important now more than ever to listen to kids like Tate. We need to do better for Tate and provide appropriate funding for life-changing diabetes research. I'm looking forward to having Tate and his fellow JDRF spokespeople up here in Canberra to lobby the government for better funding that will make a real difference to thousands of Aussie kids who I know will benefit from the technologies uh, and the support available. Uh, if you've ever seen someone with uh, juvenile diabetes, when they sit down to a meal, they play with their little pump and get their, their insulin light, it's amazing. And these kids, the, the ability and the knowledge that they've got are unreal.